Hello and welcome to another how-to video from EVGA. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can recover uh, your Windows 10 installation if there's something wrong with it. Um, for the purposes of simplicity, I'm gonna be doing this all on one system, but technically um, you would probably be doing it on two systems, assuming that your main system, the one that you're trying to recover doesn't work at all. Um, this also will work as a guide of how to install Windows 10 on a system that has no OS on it at all. And uh, basically all you really need is an internet connection and an at least eight gigabyte uh, USB thumb drive uh, with no contents on it because it will be formatted during the install. So what we wanna do is uh, we'll start with our USB here and we need to install a tool to put Windows 10 on it. So I'm gonna jump to Google here and we're gonna look for media creation tool. The media creation tool is from Microsoft. It's from their website and it allows you to reinstall Windows. There is a link here, create Windows 10 installation media, download now. We're going to run that. And it'll take just a second for that to start. I'm gonna go ahead and connect my USB drive. This USB drive is freshly formatted. There's nothing on it, um, but you can have one that already has data on it. It's just going to get, be removed during this process. The tool has started up here. You'll want to go through and agree to the terms and conditions. And it'll give you two options to upgrade this PC or create installation media. In this case, we want to create the installation media. Uh, we're going for Windows 10 64-bit. USB flash drive is our option. And we have one here called test. That's the drive that I have in here. And it will start it downloads a version of Windows 10. It's about four gigabytes, um, so it may take a while depending on how fast your internet connection is. Um, but once it downloads that, it will then put it in a form that can be booted from and it will format the drive to allow that to occur. Now that the creation of the installation media has completed, uh, it'll say your USB flash drive is ready. Um, that's good. So what we'll wanna do now is we'll wanna go ahead and get into the BIOS of the motherboard and make sure that our first boot option is this USB drive. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and restart now and go to the BIOS. On this motherboard, we enter the BIOS by hitting the delete key during the post sequence for the motherboard. Um, there are other ways of getting there um, if you don't have a keyboard connected as an example, but that's the easiest way for us. Once we're in the BIOS, we want to go over to the boot menu. Um, by default, the system is going to boot into the hard disk, which has the Windows Boot Manager on it. Uh, we want the first option now to be our ADATA USB. Uh, it'll say USB key UEFI, um, and then the name after that may be different because you'll probably have a different USB drive, but uh, USB key UEFI is the main uh, option that you want to see. We will set that, we will do save changes and reset. And now when the system reboots, it'll go through post and then it'll boot with the USB drive. We have now entered the Windows startup on the USB drive. This is what you'll use if you have a brand new system and you're installing uh, Windows 10. Uh, for us, we actually want to try to fix the system. So instead of install now, we wanna to go to repair your computer. And if you're trying to repair it, you'll want to go to Troubleshoot. And then here are the various options that you have. Um, system Restore is useful. Uh, it'll allow you to revert your Windows system back to a time in which it worked correctly. So periodically, Windows 10 will be saving uh, images of Windows that work correctly. Uh, that's what System Restore will help you do. If there's a bad update and you know that that has caused your issues, you can do the uninstall updates. Uh, system image recovery is a bit more of an extreme version of, of System Restore in a sense. System Restore will mostly restore back files and locations from a previous time. System image recovery is actually taking an entire image of your hard drive, a duplicate image of your hard drive with all of its data on one point in history, and then you can go back to that exact point in history. So a little bit more extreme version of System Restore. Not usually necessary anymore. That was more common on older versions of Windows, but it can still be very useful. 
Um, startup repair, if your system isn't starting up and there's something wrong with the boot manager or boot loader, uh, this will fix that. Command prompt is the tool that you can kind of use for everything. Um, there's a lot of forums out there for how you can fix anything using command prompt because that is the way of interfacing with Windows at a command line level. Uh, and then finally, the UEFI firmware settings. Uh, this is another way of getting into your BIOS uh, if you're not able to do it just with the keyboard keys uh, or you need to change some settings in the BIOS, you can do it there. Um, so hopefully that helps you uh, restore a Windows 10 system that isn't working correctly by using a USB and an internet connection. That's uh, really not too difficult. Um, join us for future EVGA videos and how-tos to make you a Windows 10 and PC gaming super user.